chilling here with the famous, or should I say the Twitter famous, Lil Duval. What's up with you, man? You can call me whatever you want to, as long as you pay me. And when they gonna verify your account? That's what I wanna know. When they gonna verify me? I don't care to be verified. I mean, that's something for insecure people that really want people to know that they somebody. But you follow me, don't you? Uh, let me see. Do I? Do you follow? I don't know. I think I follow you though. You don't follow me, your girl do. Oh yeah, probably so. <laughs> All right, question. So when it, when it comes to the DMV, I know you come on here. I seen you um, talking to Wale here. And what you think about the DMV and the DMV ladies? I mean, they show me a lot of love. I mean, DMV got some nice women. And shout out to my man Wale. He showed me love. I mean, I'm on his mixtape. Y'all go get that um that mixtape he got. So it's popping. It's called 11, 111, I think. Yeah, yeah you singing on there. I, I heard you singing on stage. I mean, no homo, but you, you can sing a little bit. I mean, anybody sounds good when you listen to what's on the, on the radio today. So, I mean, I can't. It ain't that I can sing good, it's just a lot of people can sing bad, so I blend in with them. <laughs> all right, cool. All right, last question. Kevin Hart and Mike Epps and all them, they, they, they hosting these shows. I'm sitting back waiting for the Lord Duval debut to uh, host the BET Awards or, you know what I'm saying, the Source Awards. And I mean, it ain't no more Source Awards. So when you gonna get your chance? I know they calling your phone. I mean, it'll happen when it's supposed to happen. I ain't in no rush. I mean, this is a journey, not a, I mean, not a, I'm not trying to do, be a quickie in this motherfucker, you know? So. This ain't a sprint, it's a marathon. So I ain't, I ain't in no rush. Long as long as I got the people, as long as they know who I am, as long as they enjoy my entertainment, the other stuff will come. I mean, cream rise to the top eventually. All right, cool. Tell us one joke. End it off with one joke. Um, your haircut. <laughs> That's a joke. So you ain't gonna get no mohawk, right? I, I, the ladies like my mohawk. What, you ain't gonna get a mohawk? Never go by what women tell you, man. Women like a lot of stuff that sh men shouldn't be doing. You know, women go always say just because a woman, a woman might be like, "Ooh, that's cute." That don't mean you should wear tight ass jeans. You know, do you got some? Nah, you straight. I'm chill today, right now. But do you wear them? <laughs> I wore them before. Man, don't do that shit. I mean, you got a father? I mean, I don't know. Yo, oh, you, them tight jeans, you gonna get a yeast infection fucking around with them jeans. Don't do that. I'm chilling, man. You, you, you a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You wearing the baggy fat daddies today, so I, I might listen. I'm a little baggy because I'm a little nigga, so this is an extra small baggy. So I see you blinging, though, so you must be doing something good. I mean, this don't mean I'm doing something good. What means I'm doing something good is people coming to see me. So that's all that matters, the jury and all that stuff. I mean, that's just when I'm bored, I buy it. Alright, shout out to Lil Duval, PatisDope.com, Bowie State University Homecoming. Right. Who gives a fuck you here tonight? And if you like